Alright, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to ETSK Tutorials, and this is FPS 1.9. And this episode, we're going to learn how to make the gun move from the bottom right hand corner of our screen to the center of our screen when we hold down right click. So basically, hold down right click or L if you're using a controller to aim in the center of the screen. Uh, this is going to be pretty, pretty easy to do, so this should be a quick and easy episode. Why don't I give you a little demonstration? Alright, so here we are inside of Unity. And run. So, as you can see, I updated my gun just a little bit. It looks slightly better. And then right click, and it goes in the center of the screen. How cool is that? Come on, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, Alright, anyways. Let's learn how to actually do that. Where is my text file? Here we go. Alright, so here are the uh, three variables that we're going to be working with today, and the first one is uh, ratio hold hip, and then we have hip to aim speed, and ratio hold hip V. Okay, so uh, basically we're, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using uh, ratio hold hip, and that is going to be a number that's going to move back and forth between 0 and 1. Um, I believe one is going to be holding at the hip or bottom right hand corner of the screen. So when you, you know, first person shooters, when they say aiming from the hip, that's just your gun resting in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Um, and then when it's set to zero, that's going to be aiming in the very center. So we're going to be multiplying this number by hold side and hold height so that uh, when we multiply it by zero, hold side and hold height aren't going to actually have any effect and it's going to you know any number times zero is zero so it's going to go to zero aka the center of the screen um, and then we have hip to aim speed uh, and uh, just like the uh, weight of the gun the smaller the number the faster it's going to snap into place so if it's a really heavy gun we might want to have it be a large number and it's going to take just a second to actually bring it up to your face but if it's like a really tiny pistol it's going to snap quickly and we want to use like a small number um, and then we have uh, ratio hip hold v and this is a velocity variable for the smooth damp function that we're going to be using actually we're going to use two smooth damp functions one of the smooth damp functions is going to uh, move the gun to the center of the screen and the other smooth damp function is going to move it back depending on whether or not we're holding down right click. So let's go to our first line of code. There it is. Let me try to make it look a little better. All right. Well, anyways, so uh, basically we just have two if, if statements and uh, two smooth damp functions. Uh, so we have if input dot get button fire two and by default fire two is right click. Um, we're going to have hip hold uh, ratio hip hold equals math f dot smooth damp ratio hold hip which is where it is right now and then it's going to smooth damp to zero, uh, aka the center of the screen. So when you hold on right click, it goes to the center of the screen. And uh, ratio hip hold v is our velocity variable and hip to aim speed is, is the approximate number of seconds it's going to take for the gun to reach the center of the screen. And if input dot get button uh, fire two equals false, so uh, if input dot get button fire two is a true or false variable, so if it equals false, or if we are not holding down the right click, um, we are going to do the exact same thing except we're smooth damping to one instead of zero so that it go or so one time any number times one is going to be the same number so it's going to uh, hip hole or uh, hold side and hold height are going to go right back to their default values it's going to go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then uh, our last line of code is actually a code that we already have in place but we're just going to modify it a little bit so this is um, from our last episode, and this is the line of code that uh, places our gun um, in the bottom right hand corner of our screen, and then we have another couple of lines to rotate it, but right now we're just working on the placement of it. 
and the rotation is still going to be exactly the same because it's still going to be pointing in the same direction as our camera with the same smooth damp function. So uh, the only thing that we change is that uh, the quaternion times the vector 3 that is hold side and hold height, we're just multiplying hold side and hold height by ratio hold hip. Um, and remember, ratio hold hip is the number that is going to be between 0 and 1. 0, it's going to move at the center of the screen. 1, it's going to keep it at the same value that it is now. Um, so, yeah, pretty simple. I told you this was going to be a fast episode. So I'm going to cut the green screen and go to straight screen recording and actually show you what it looks like on the computer. Oh, wait, one more thing I want to uh, go over is um, for this game, we're going to be using the actual um, aiming reticules like here. I can show you. Let me go back. Um, so, so far I don't have anything on the GUI or the heads up display. Um, and to actually aim our gun, we're going to be using the actual aimers on the gun. What are, I don't know what they're called. They're not called aimers, that's for sure. The, the little nub or pointy thing on the, on the uh, front and back of your gun that lines up the sights, the sights of the gun. Um, so we're going to be using the actual sights of the gun on the model. So uh, I'm going to show you a little trick that I came up just to um, make sure that you get the sights actually perfectly lined up um, or at least like very closely lined up like it doesn't have to be exactly perfect um, but we're gonna realistically um, aim the uh, gun with the sights and I'm gonna show you how to line that up so that it looks right alright well anyways I'm gonna cut the green screen and go to straight screen recording now and show you how it's done all right, here we are inside of Unity, and first of all, let's take a look at the gun. So we need to understand the difference between a global position and local position. Global position is the position of the game object in world space. So as you can see, if I actually all these game objects are um, inside of a folder, so they have a parent. Uh, so I don't think yeah, our player capsule doesn't have a parent. So we can use this as, as an example. Uh, the X, Y, and Z it has right now is its position in the world, like just throughout everywhere. But if we go over to an object or one of these cubes inside of the gun, these cubes have a position compared to the uh, compared to their parents' position. So that is a local position, um, and their global position is their position of exactly where it is in 3D space. So if we go to gun and select gun, we can see um, here we have a little uh, X, Y, and Z sort of looking thing that, and it can show us exactly where the gun is. So this is the gun's placement in world space right here. And make sure that you have it set to pivot and not center because center is going to take the average of all of the children and the parent, and it's going to average them all together into one point in 3D space, but that's not the exact position of the gun. So we need to make sure it's set to pivot. So that will show us the exact position of the gun. Um, another way to line up the gun um, is to here let me just I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to set its position to 0 0 0 so now this little cube is in the exact whoops not what I meant to do there it is this little cube is now exactly um, in the exact placement of the gun or its parent so let me just scale it down now basically what I'm trying to do is make a very long, like as skinny as possible cube. So here we go, the cube is so skinny that it's practically just a ray. Um, so this is where our gun is going to aim, so we want to line our um, sights up with that. So let's select all the cubes that are our um, model or our gun model, 
and we can move it up and down and left and right until we get the sites of our gun lined up exactly with this cube. So that way we know that when we aim this gun, uh, it's going to pretty much look perfect. It's going to aim uh, in a very realistic fashion um, down the sights of our barrel. So, and then after we're done with that, we can go ahead and just delete that. And now we know that our gun is lined up properly. And another note, um, if you want to move your gun up and down, um, you can either use hold height and hold side, but if you want to move the actual model, make sure you don't select cut, uh, gun and move it, because right now it really doesn't matter where we move it. We can move it anywhere we want, and it's going to automatically go back to the same place it was. Um, so what you need to do is select the cubes or the model inside of it and adjust it from there. So if you want to adjust it up and down and left and right to make it perfect, that's where you would want to do it. So now that we have it all lined up with our sights, so our gun should be pretty much perfect. So now let's go into our gun script and make some code so that it actually aims. So let's create our three variables and the first one was ratio hip Wait, was it ratio hip hold? I think it was ratio hip hold. It doesn't matter what we call it, really, as long as we have consistency. And um, we want this to be a default value of 1, because whenever you start the game, it's going to be resting at your hip. Um, so now let's do var. Um, what was it? Um, aim. Wait. Hip to aim speed float and let's see if 0 0.1 looks good and oops we want to hide this one because we don't need to edit this in the inspector and this is going to be ratio hip hold v float all right, cool. Now we have all our variables in place. And now let's create our if statement. So if input dot uh, get button fire two. So fire one would be left click, fire two is right click. And remember, get button is different from get button down um, because get button down only returns true the frame that the button first goes down whereas plain old get button will return um, true every uh, frame that the button is being held so let's uh, ratio hip hold and let's create our smooth damp and we need where it currently is which is ratio hip hold and if we are holding down right click we want it to go to the center of the screen and we're uh, so that would be zero uh, because we know when it's lined up at zero 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 it should be aimed exactly where we want to go so now we need our velocity so ratio hip hold V and our time hip to aim speed and let's be lazy and copy and paste all of that. And I'm going to change this to oops, false. Um, I could also, for this, write else. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter what we write. It could be, I think I could also write, um, I'm pretty sure I could also write it like that, um, but yeah, whatever. It it doesn't really matter how you do it. It could be else ex exclamation mark, um, but as long as basically you're saying if it's not held down, we're going to smooth damp it to one. So that's all we need to do, and now we need uh, ratio hip hold to multiply. Where is it? Our hold side and hold height when we are affecting the position of the gun. 
So right now it's moving it over to the side. So let's multiply that rate by ratio hip hold. So if it's one, it's gonna be the same, but if it's zero, it's gonna move it to the center of the screen. Save that, and let's go over to Unity and see how it looks. Sweet, totally is working. So, yep, that uh, was pretty simple. And this definitely feels a whole lot more like a first-person shooter. Whoa, that was fun. So, we can run around, we can look around, and now we have a gun with weight to it, and it can aim. That is pretty cool. So, I think our first-person shooter is really starting to shape up. Um, so, yeah, this has been FPS 1.9 ET Ski Tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe, tell all your friends tweets, Facebook, whatever the hell else you guys like to do to spread videos around. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, until my next episode, I'll see you guys later. Keep making games.